There was a, I mean, it was not uncommon to be able to look over the precipice as we drove hundreds and hundreds of feet down and see trucks, cars, buses lying down there like broken toys. Well, hello again, dear friends. It's good to be with you, and I do hope you're doing well. It's another triple digit day here in South Central Texas. We swelter on. But I have a verse I want to share with you, which will hopefully lead into our subject for today. The verse is this, this God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord proves true. He is a shield to all of those who take refuge in him. Back in the uh, late 1970s, when I was privileged to travel through the Altiplano of Bolivia with a missionary friend, I experienced beauty, majesty, and danger never before known to me. You see, as you go through the mountain roads in the Andes there in Bolivia, the roads themselves are serpentine with lots of switchbacks, and they are narrow with only occasional wide places in the road for oncoming traffic to pass. And on top of all that, there are no guardrails. There was a, I mean, it was not uncommon to be able to look over the precipice as we drove hundreds and hundreds of feet down and see trucks, cars, buses lying down there like broken toys. It was dangerous and I want to tell you, I did a lot of praying on those roads. Our journey through life can be difficult sometimes too, can't it? Can be dangerous. We need a good road, a safe road, one with guardrails. And of course there is just such a road. Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you are on the road, which is Jesus, if you are in Jesus, you are on your way to the Father's house and you are on just such a road as that. Let's remember that. We trust, we must take refuge in Jesus in order to be on that road to go to the Father. And it's a one-way road. There's no oncoming traffic, none, nobody coming back. It's a one-way road. And if you look at our verse again, it says he's a shield to those who put their trust in him, who take refuge in him. He's our guardrail. No one will be lost along that way. What a wonderful thing that is. And we have God's word and we have the Holy Spirit living in us to help us along that journey. Listen to these verses, if you would. Remember, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. And also, we read that Jesus said to his disciples, the helper, the Holy Spirit, will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said. And further, he said that the Holy Spirit will guide you into all truth. He will glorify me, Jesus said, and for he will take what is mine and make it yours. Wonderful and precious promises. If you're on that road, dear one, you will surely arrive at your glorious destination. And that's cause for much thanksgiving and praise, is it not? Well, that's all I have today. I trust that, and uh, thank you so much for, for t t tuning in again today. And uh, Lord willing, We'll see you in a couple of weeks, and please, as we generally say, share this with someone if you feel so led. So thank you again, and we'll see you next time. So long.